everyone. So today I'm going to be doing what I got in my May boxy charm. Um, this is like the third month of my like three month trial. And you may have noticed that I have dyed my hair pink. I was just wanting to do something different and fun. And I hadn't done pink in about, I think almost like a year to the day. So um, I wanted to just do some pink hair and I thought that it was really fun and I like how it turned out. So the theme for this month's boxy charm is the boxy bash. So I have my little card with all the information on it and mine is um, version number one. I didn't realize that it like told you kind of like what different version box you have. So mine is the little one here. So I'm going to get started and share with you guys what I got in my box. So the first product I have here is the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. This is a full size one. This is 30 milliliters and the value of this one is $38. So again, alone, I only paid about like 1966, I think for this box. Um, so like this product alone is already covered the price of the entire box. So I love whenever um, there are more high-end brands that I've heard of before. So Cover Effects is definitely a good one for me. This is actually kind of like a skin tone one. It's kind of a little bit deeper than my skin tone. It's so far it reminds me of the Pony Effect blurring primer, but a little less thick. So I'm going to apply this all over my skin. So it definitely doesn't add any moisture to the skin at all, which I'm not really surprised because it is just more of like a blurring pore filling primer. Um, so it definitely didn't like make my skin feel hydrated at all. Um, as far as the pores go, it made that area feel super smooth. So I'll have to see how my um, makeup goes on and see if it like really kind of blurred the pores a bit. Okay. So I've applied my foundation. I feel like the primer did help a little bit with kind of blurring the pores kind of around this area. That's where I have a little bit more of enlarged pores. So, so far I like, and I'm happy that it was included in my box. So the next product in my box is a palette and this is the Pure Sculptor palette. So the value of this one is $30 and this is a like contouring, um, highlighting palette. So I'm actually really glad that it's not another eye palette this month. Don't get me wrong. I love eye palettes so much, but I do like when it's not every single month. And, um, this one actually goes pretty deep. So um, I think that this is actually good for a lot of people who have a deeper skin tone. I'm going to see if I can make these colors work. They do look a little bit dark for me, um, but I want to try it out. And this palette's actually scented a lot like the um, kind of like the chocolate bar palettes. It smells very similar to that. I even like looked on their website and on the card. It doesn't say anything about it being like scented, but it's definitely 100% got a smell to it. So if that's something that you don't like, um, then you might want to stay away from this. But I personally love this smell. It's smells really good. So the next thing kind of goes along with this. This is a makeup brush from Aesthetica. This one is called the P12 Face Brush and it says with synthetic fibers that allow for maximum control, um, the P12 Face Brush is perfect for creating a seamless look. The manufacturer's suggested retail price for this is $27. I'm going to be honest with you, I would not pay $27 for this brush, especially since it is a synthetic hair brush. To be honest, I probably wouldn't pay $27 for like a natural hair brush. Um, um, that's you know about this size like there are so many really good makeup brushes especially if you really like natural hair brushes that are less expensive than this so um, yeah I think I'm just gonna call this for what it is I would not pay $27 for this I'm gonna give it a go but to be honest it's not really the type of brush I would use for like contour or highlight so I'm gonna go in with the lighter of the two contour shades which is still quite a bit deep but I'm glad that they included this because you know I, there's a million kind of like contour colors I could probably probably use. I think that this is a great option for people who do have deeper skin tone. So I'm glad that they included this. So I'm going to use the color Inventor. That one is the lighter one. And again, this isn't really the type of brush I would use with this. So I'm going to try to like apply it very sparingly and carefully. And then if I need to, I will probably switch to a different brush. Yeah, this brush is just not cutting it, so I'm gonna switch to my favorite brush. For contouring, I like a brush much more like this kind of shape, this angled one. Um, so I wish they would have included a brush more like that for this palette, um, but we'll just have to see. Like this is already showing up a lot more than that other brush. So I'm gonna apply this very carefully because again, I don't wanna like go overboard with um, the color. It's definitely very pigmented. I feel like this one is kind of hard to blend just a little bit. It might just be like the color is just not quite right for me. Um, but it kind of like once I place it on the skin, it kind of like sticks. So I have to like really be careful to blend this out so it doesn't just look like a brown streak on my cheek. I'm going to take just a hair of the darker ones called Founder and I'm just going to see like how intense this is. 
You know, to be honest, even though I am super pale, I think that if you use this very sparingly, I think that you can get away with using it. Um, if you don't mind a more intense kind of contour color, I kind of like a little bit more intense because I have a bit of a rounder, pudgier face. So anything that will kind of like make me look a little more, um, I don't know, leaner is always nice. I do feel like I have to work with this quite a bit more to like really blend it in. Um, but once I have like really kind of worked it into the skin, I feel like it looks pretty nice. I think for me, maybe just with my skin color, I think that this one is just a little bit more of like a, I have to be cautious with it. But so far, you know, I don't mind it. So now for the highlighter, I'm gonna use the lighter color um, Originator. Um, the other one is Trailblazer. That one I feel like is going to be definitely a little bit too deep for my skin tone, but I could always use that as like an eyeshadow. Shadow. So that is the highlighter. I kind of like did it in layers to kind of um, build it up a bit. I do find that this highlighter for me, um, I do have to kind of like, um, like really kind of buff it in to kind of get more of the shine to show up. I kind of like overdid it now that I'm looking at it. As far as the um, darker highlighter color, I think that's definitely going to be a little bit too goldy on my skin. Um, but those are the two colors in case you are wondering. So even though this palette isn't like absolutely perfect for my skin tone, I'm actually still really happy with this because I would much rather them include a palette, um, especially if it's more of like a complexion product, that is too dark than rather than one that is too light. Um, because if I use like a very um, careful light hand, I can totally make these work. And I think that again, much better suited for people that have deeper skin tones. So I'm actually really glad they included this. I'm glad. It's it's not another eye palette. Um, even though I love eye palettes, I like when they mix it up a bit. Okay, so I finished the eyes. Um, I applied a little bit of the Tardis Pro Glow to my eye. Um, this is from last month's box. I don't really like this as a highlighter, but I do like using it as kind of like a colored base. So I applied that to my eyes, and then I also used some of the colors from this palette to kind of create my eye look. I used the darker color um, Trailblazer all over the lids. So um, again, just to show that even if you can't really um, use this on your face, if you're just super fair, you could still get away with using this as an eyeshadow. So the next product I have, I was really, really excited when I opened my box and I saw this. This is the Pretty Vulgar The Ink Gel Eyeliner. This one is valued at $24. So this is the second Pretty Vulgar product I've gotten from this box. Um, the first one was the blush in my March box. So this is so cute. It looks like a little inkwell um, kind of thing. Now, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of gel um, eyeliners just because I don't use them that often. So I'm not as good at applying my makeup with that. However, I'm like really excited that I got this. This one is in the color one blacklist. So I'm going to give this a go. And the next three things that came in my box is more brushes. So this again is also from the brand Aesthetica. This is the three piece eye trio and this comes with um, three different types of brushes. One is like an angled kind of eyeliner type brush. Um, the next one is just like a spoolie brush. And then the last one is more of like um, a smaller eyeliner brush. This one is probably more like what I would um, probably use for uh, my eyeliner. This one I think is just a little bit too thick. I used it for my brow pomade and I still found it was just a little bit thicker of an eyeliner brush than I would have typically used. Um, but you guys, the price on the card of this one is absolutely bananas. This says this trio is $45. I'm gonna be real with you, no, absolutely not. That comes down to $15 a brush, and if you think I'm paying $15 for a spoolie brush, you are batshit crazy, so I'm sorry. I wouldn't even, I, I wouldn't, I would not. I just would not. And to be honest, you can get this type of brush for a dollar. But I'm gonna give this one a go and see if it works. Um, so I'm glad that they kind of like at least picked types of brushes that would work well with other products included in their box. However, the price of these, uh-uh, that's just, that's robbery. <laughs> so this is what the product looks like. It's kind of like so dark, I can't see like where I am pressing into it. It feels really soft, I'm surprised. I never apply um, eyeliner like this, so hopefully I don't mess up. Oh my God. Wow, that's like really, really like smooth and dark. I'm kind of impressed so far. <gasps> wow okay okay I love that I'm gonna have to see how it wears I love that oh my god and it's six grams of product so that feels like there's a lot in here um, and the packaging is really nice too this is like a like glass kind of bottle um, yes 
Hello. Oh my god, I have never found a gel eyeliner that I have liked this much. I'm honestly, I'm shook right now. I am shook. This, I love this. I love this. I'm gonna be honest, I like this brush a lot for um, applying the eyeliner. I would not pay $15 for this, but I like this brush for this eyeliner. And the final product is a lip product. This is from Han Skincare, and it is a lip gloss. This one is um, valued at $15, and it's in the color Raspberry Chardonnay. So this one says it's supposed to be an all-natural lip gloss with antioxidants and vitamins. Um, what does it say? Moisturizing lip gloss um, with argan oil and acai oil infused with anti-aging super fruit extracts and vitamins to benefit your lips while delivering a beautiful color from natural sources. So this seems like it would be a good option if you are looking for more um, natural kind of makeup and things that doesn't have as many chemicals in it. So I'm going to try this on and see how it looks. Um, definitely, I don't know, just a bit of a different color than what I would typically wear. I don't think it's a bad color at all. Oh wow. It smells really good. It has that um, cake batter scent. The lip product we got in last month's box as well, I would say is very similar to this color. Um, and it had the very similar scent as well. Um, so I'm gonna apply this really quickly. Oh, it smells so good. I love that cake batter smell. It smells like the soft matte lip creams from NYX if you um, have those. Ooh, it's super pigmented. So that is the lip color. I would have to say already, um, it's very fragrant. Like I can smell the pr the fragrance um, on my lips, which I actually like because it smells so good. Um, but if you don't like fragrancing and lip products, keep that in mind. I actually kind of like this color a little bit more with my pink hair than I probably would have with my blonde hair. Um, it feels very nice on the lips. It has, it's definitely a thicker lip gloss, but it's not sticky and it just feels very like I don't know, very hydrating, very like rich on the lips. Um, so, so far I actually kind of like this. I thought I wasn't gonna like it just cause like the color of it was not really something I'd go for. Um, but I'll have to see, I feel like it might be prone to like bleeding a bit because it is such a pigmented gloss. Um, so I'm gonna kind of wear it for a little bit and kind of see what I think. Okay, so a quick rundown of all the products from this box. So the first is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I'm really happy this was included in my box. Next is the Pure Sculptor Palette. Again, I. I am glad that they included this. Even though it's a little bit deep for my skin tone, I can still make it work and I can use it for eyeshadows. And I think that it's great that there's more of an option for people with deeper skin tones. So I give this a thumbs up as well. I'm gonna be 100% honest about these brushes. Um, I don't think the brushes are bad brushes. I think that the price that they list these for is absolutely astronomical. Um, so I would absolutely never pay that much for these brushes. $27.45. This is not $72 worth of brushes. I, I'm actually kind of, I'm not mad, but I'm just really surprised. I do have to say I did like this brush for applying my gel liner, um, but $15, no, absolutely not. If the overall value of the box and all the other products that were included, if I didn't like those as much, I would feel very almost offended <laughs> that they like included these. But since I really do like, and I feel like the value of all the other products in this box was really actually very good, I'm not as like mad at this, but if this was like a, a your box and these were like you know a big portion of it I would not be happy with it so for the brushes themselves I don't think the brushes are bad for the price that's absolutely like bananas next is the pretty vulgar ink gel eyeliner this I think might be my favorite product in this whole box and then finally the lip gloss product for $15 to be honest I don't really know if I would buy this myself I don't know I feel like $8 is where I cap out for lip gloss the other thing that was just kind of like a little bit of a negative for me was just that um last month we literally got a color very similar to this I think it'd be cool if like one month if they did like a really out there fun bright color um, and then you know went back to doing like a neutral or like a natural or universal color for the next month just to kind of break it up a little bit and then really quickly I will go over like a mini um, kind of like update from my April box so the first thing was the dr. Brandt vacuum cleaner pores no more um, I have been using this since I think I've used it probably about like six times since I actually really like this Next was the ColourPop Semi Precious Eyeshadow Palette. Again, I still um, think that these colors are a little bit um, off. I feel like I like all the colors individually, but not as an entire palette. But I still give this one a thumbs up. I hate when my neighbor just sits in his driveway with his motorcycle idling for like 10 minutes. So the next product for my April box was the TARDIS Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. 
I absolutely do not like this as a liquid highlighter on the face. There's just too many kind of glitter specks in it, and so for the face, it's an absolute no-go, but I have found an alternative use for it. The next product was the Brow Gal Instatint. You know, I kind of don't have hair like at the beginning part of my eyebrows, so I have to use like a pomade. So for me, I actually really like this on the rest of my brow, but as an overall like alone product, it didn't really quite work for me. And then the final product I don't have because I gave that to my mom, that was the Adess Lip Color. Um, that one was just kind of a little bit of a thumbs down for me. And then of course with this month, they gave a very similar product. So that's just a little annoying thing. I wish there was like a tiny bit more variation with like those lip products, but that might've just been a coincidence. So that is it for my May Boxy Charm. I will update you guys in next month's video with the products that I got from this box and kind of let you know what I thought about them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.